Are we on? Mm hmm Okay, start it over, sorry. <laughs> I always felt somewhat artistic uh, growing up, you know, always like doodling and just the creative process. Um, I feel like as a kid I always asked everybody what their favorite color was. I, in college I started painting um, primarily for, for fun and just, just to friends, you know, as gifts. Uh, it progressed from there, people asked me to do paintings for them, for their houses, for their friends. And uh, as my name kind of got out there, I realized that I could do something with this. And I would say right, right as I was graduating college at San Diego State, I realized I could do paintings um, kind of for a living. As far as inspiration for my artwork, I feel like capturing time is the reason I paint. Um, in a weird way, my paintings almost act as documents. When I look at a painting, I can kind of trace back to exactly where I was in my life, you know, whether it be a certain place or an individual I may have been rendezvousing with or just just kind of what was going on, you know, as, as someone pictures something on a canvas, it, it glows off and you may perceive it as something and somebody else will look at it completely different, but to me, it, it really represents myself and where I am in that current state while I'm in the creative process. I feel like a common thread in my artwork, uh, it's very bright and vibrant. I like to play with colors a lot. Um, when people ask me, how do you describe your work and I have nothing to rep represent it right in front of them, I like to say it's abstract realism. Um, I, c I touch like a level of lucidness. I like to do a lot of drips and you know very washed out backgrounds, crazy color transformations coming together but I like to put something concrete kind of up on the forefront that you can relate to and identify right away. So the clash of the two types of art, to me, really creates something in the grand spectrum. What I put down on the canvas, whether it be spray paint or you know acrylic paints or watercolor, or whether it just be drawings, you know, it's, it's all just what comes out from within. The female figure is very prominent in a lot of my artwork. I mean, who doesn't like girls? Like, girls like girls, guys like girls, grown men like girls. As a child, you know, your mother's an important role in your lifetime. So, I just think I have a lot of respect for women and I'm very intrigued by them, so they surface in a lot of my paintings. The event will be in a few weeks here at Sound Night Club in Los Angeles. I'm going to paint a live mural. It's kind of my twist on the album art of the band that's performing. Holy Ghost. So I'll be at the club painting kind of to their set, almost on like to the side stage with them. And at the end, Rolling Stone magazine wants the, the group to autograph it and then they'll keep it um, for their headquarters kind of as like a tribute to that night and the party they threw in LA with Dos Equis. So it'll be a Rolling Stone, Holy Ghost, uh, Dos Equis piece. On a, like massive four by six canvas, so we'll see how that turns out. It's gonna be pretty wild.
just want everyone to see my paintings. I kind of have an opinion on them, you know? Like, you don't have to like it, or you can love it. It'd be awesome. But just as an artist, you know, having recognition. I've, uh, I've put a lot of time and effort into what I do. You know, and most of it's for myself. But the the energy that you uh, get off people when they enjoy your artwork is, you know, so rewarding. It's it's higher than any high, you know? You know like words can't even really describe how you feel when, when someone's just like blown away with the fact that, oh, you created that. Wow, that's that's astonishing. Like, how did you do that? You know, that, that's what I take home at the end of the night. It's what, it's what really goes a long way with me. I guess I just don't want to stop, so I won't see my painting.